All right, here's our next target. I can solve quadratic equations in standard form, which is ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero, by rewriting in factored form, which is the a times x minus p times x minus q equals zero. So here's our first example, and something should stick out like a sore thumb right now. Is that in standard form? It's not. So our first step is we need to write this in standard form. So we want to get everything on the left side. So the right side is just zero. So we would subtract uh, 12x from both sides. So I'm going to say minus 12x, minus 12x. Be very careful. This is 9x squared. There's no x here, right? So it's like saying 0x minus 12x. And then we're going to add 5, right? When we move this negative 5, we add 5 to both sides. So you got to be very careful because you have three terms. you got to combine all the like terms properly. Okay, so we rewrote this in standard form. So we have 9x squared minus 12x equals 0. There's no c in this case, or c is actually 0 in this problem because when we added, we added 5 to negative 5, it becomes 0, right? So it's 9x squared minus 12x equals 0. So now we want to get factored form, correct? So what we're going to want to do next is we want to factor this. So what are you going to do to factor this? So since this is a binomial, we're just going to look to see, can we pull out a GCF, right? The 9x squared, negative 12x. The GCF is 3x. So then it's 3x times 3x is the 9x squared. 3x times negative 4 is the negative 12x. Still equals 0. So we went from standard form here to factored form here. And we just did the GCF for our factoring method, right? It wasn't a quadratic trinomial. So we weren't doing the diamond and the generic rectangle. It's just GCF problem. So it was. All right. So now we have this. We should know what to do. What's the next step? Our next step is we're going to take each factor that has the x variable, which in this case, there's two factors, right? 3x and 3x minus 4. And we're going to set both of those equal to 0. So we go 3x equals 0. That's one equation. The other equation is 3x minus 4 equals 0. All right, so now what are we going to do? Well, we're going to solve it. So 3x equals 0. You divide both sides by 3. Bam, x equals 0. 3x minus 4 equals 0. So we add 4 to both sides. 3x equals 4. And then we do a division property for quality. We divide both sides by 3. So we get x equals 4 thirds. Step 5 is check. How do we check? That's right, we'd substitute back into the original equation the x value. So the zero is really easy, right? So we substitute zero in here. Zero squared is zero. Zero times nine is zero. Zero minus five is negative five. Right side, 12 times zero is zero. Zero minus five is negative five. Negative five equals negative five? Yep, check. Four thirds is going to be a little bit more of a beast here. We can do it. We'd have to go four thirds times four thirds. Um, which gets us 16 ninths. Multiply that by 9, which gets us 16. So then 16 minus 5 is 11. Here, 12 times 4 thirds, well, that's going to become 16, and 16 minus 5 is 11. 11 equals 11. Check.